Can I ask you to give these cards a quick mix, a quick shuffle? Quick shuffle. Anything right. that mixes the cards is fine. Right. And if you want to give the cards a few cuts, anything is fine. That's a great job. It's of not best. Oh, I just kind of ruining a deck of well, cards. I That's okay. That's how I justify charging you an additional two fifty for the I'm deck. Not good with cards. No, I can see that. What I'd like you to do is <laughs> name any card you want in the deck. You can name any card, but make it a number card, not a picture card. Uh, a number card. Yes, a number card. Okay, a ten. A ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds. They call that card Big Casino. That's a nickname for that. We're going to do a trick with the ten of diamonds. But in a moment, when I start this trick, you're just going to say, "Well, you know what? You had a full deck full of tens of diamonds." You can see I don't. But we're going to make this one unique by having you sign your name across the face of the card. So take this pen, sign your name across the face of the card, in really big letters. You're doing a great job. Now, you know I didn't write that on another ten of diamonds, right? No, that's or, excuse me, had another, I had a three-year-old write this on another card. I didn't have that, right? No. All right, that's okay. Then if you see this again, you know it has to be yours. Yeah, now, absolutely. do you play cards at all? No, not really. Not really. Those are the ones you've got to watch out for, not really. Uh, I'm going to take that ten, shuffle it into the deck, give the cards a quick cut so nobody knows exactly where that ten is. You know, but if I needed that ten to win a lot of money in the game and it wasn't on the top of the deck and it wasn't on the bottom of the deck, I'd probably just cheat. Watch. No matter where that 10 is in the deck, if I just tap the top of the deck, it should come back to the top. Now, we know it's yours because it's got your name on it. Yeah. Let's try that again. You look confused. <laughs> I'm going to take that 10. I'm going to leave it in the center of the deck, and it goes. Now, remember, it's not on the top. It's not on the bottom. But if I needed it to win a lot of money, I'd probably just tap the top of the deck, bring it right back to the top. <laughs> that way, I can just deal to myself fairly. <laughs> Let me try this again. Watch. I'll slow, it to, wait, I'll slow it down for you. I'm going to take that 10. I'm going to leave it in the center. It looks like you understand the in it goes part. Yeah. Just uh, not the up it comes part. Can you turn that over? <laughs> All right. I tell you what, you're doing a great job. Uh, let me slow this down for you, though. I was joking earlier. Let me really slow this down. I'm going to take that signed 10 of diamonds, the one that's got your signature all over it. I'm going to place that 10 in the center of the deck. I'm going to place all of this in the center. So I'm in the center of the center. You cannot get much more in the center. Both of you are doing a great job of watching that card as it dissolves into the deck. So there's no way possible it could come back to the top. Obviously, because I haven't tapped yet. Watch, it's when I tap that it comes up to the top. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Plus, can, you help me, can you help me out with this? Just help me out, please. Watch, I'm going to take that sign, Ten of Dimes. I'm going to leave it in the center of the deck. And remember, it's not on the top. It's not on the bottom. Can you just tap for me? Do you think it works? <laughs> with the deck in my hands, it'll always work. Now, this time, one, one last time. I'm going to take that ten, leave it sticking out of the center of the deck. Now, if we were playing poker, I'd probably already have that 10. I'd probably already have that 10. And I'd probably already, you could have named any card you wanted in the deck, right? Now, I don't need any of those. I want this one, the 10 of diamonds with your signature on it, the one that's in the middle of the deck. Now, I'm going to cut it down so it's even farther down in the deck, all right? So if I deal myself the top card of the deck right now, I get the uh, 8 of diamonds. Now, I don't need the 8 of diamonds, but I'm going to use that 8 of diamonds to tap in your card. I'm not even touching your card. There's no way I could manipulate that card if I'm not even touching it. So there's no way possible that I could get that 10 back to the top of the deck. 